And um, I just amazes me when I see how far um, the reach is, you know, how many people I've impacted and inspired over the years. It's just been so amazing and also um, inspiring how God is just choosing to use my life to inspire other people. I'm just like, so I just, I don't know why I'm shocked, but I am. I'm just surprises me every time. So I love to see where you're from. So make sure and comment and tell me where you're from. I'm going to I want to make sure to pull up my uh, comments over here on my uh, YouTube channel. So we're going to get that over here. Um, so let's talk about ribbon. <laughs> um, there, y'all have been seeing, I've been talking and advertising about our bow making masterclass. It's going to start tomorrow, tomorrow night. Actually, it's sort of already started a little bit. I've been giving them um, tips and stuff like that in the group already, but tomorrow is officially our kickoff where we start our bow making a master class. Why am I doing a bow making class when there are tons of videos online for free? That is the main question I get and I understand that is a very valid question. The problem or the, the, what, the problem that I see or the issue that I see with a lot of people is that they have common mistakes that they're making and this comes for, from the years of me teaching one-on-one uh, -on -one with people. I see common mistakes people make. And so there's common mistakes that people make and there are easy solutions to fix that. A lot of times when you see uh, some bow making tutorials online, you don't, you don't understand um, or you may be confused about you know, ribbon patterns, ribbon colors, and is that the only way to make a bow? And it's not, it's not. So I do have some information in the group. It's a lot of information. We're going to be talking about, let me show you, let me get my coffee out of the way. Y'all, are y'all having issues with the time change? I am still <laughs> struggling from that. I'm like, this is like coffee number three for me and it's still the morning and I'm just like, oh my gosh, trying to wake up. Um, but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna do multiple bows in the group, okay? It's not one bow. And I don't ever tell you that you need to learn it this way and that's the highway. You know what I mean? It's more, there's just so many different ways to make a bow. And sometimes one way will resonate better with you than another way. So for example, when I was first taught to make a bow, I was taught that you had to make your first loop to hide the ribbon. That was my, that's to me is old school, okay? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do, believe me. So you make a, a loop and that holds, I mean, hides the wire. And, and if that's what you like to do, you absolutely can do this. But when I was first learning, this method right here was very hard for me to figure out. I couldn't hold it. I couldn't grasp the concept of how many loops and how far to go out and um, you know all those things. So if you want to learn to make a bow this traditional way, I mean we will definitely have that in the group for you. But if this is not the way that you like to make your bows, if you find it as confusing and as difficult to make as I do, then you might want to learn some additional ways, some that to me doing this business over the years, I have found are so much easier than making a bow in our traditional um, old school method. I, I don't mean old school like you're old. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that this has been around for a while, you know what I mean? Um, so if, you're, if, the, if something like this seems really hard to you, I get you because I was there too trying to figure it all out. But one way is not the highway. One way is not the only way to hand tie a bow. So I, my goal is to teach you multiple ways to hand tie. And if your fingers don't work like they used to, you have arthritis or whatnot, I'm, I got you. I can, I've got a way for you to also make your bows using a bow tool, a bow making tool. Um, I call it a machine. It's not really it doesn't crank or anything. It's just a bow making tool for you. I've got ways to show you how to do that. Um, but we're going to be talking about so many different things like 
Um, day one, let me get my schedule out here so I don't forget anything. Um, day one, first of all, like where do you buy ribbon? Everybody asks me, where do you buy all of this, you know, pretty ribbon with all the patterns? We have that, um, where do you buy it? We've got a vendor list for everyone that they can go and buy either retail, local, or they can go online. Because if you're like me and you live in the rural areas, you don't necessarily have quick access to stores. Um, or maybe you go to your store and they're lacking in spring ribbon because of all of the backlog with COVID. I mean, that's been happening for everyone. I went into my ribbon place and I was like, where's everything? Um, but it, I get it, it's, COVID has like backlogged all of the supplies lately. Um, so if you don't know, you know where to go locally to buy your ribbon, don't worry. I'm giving you a list of my favorite online retailers that I have been buying for uh, years. And I mean, I may make all of my wreaths and things like that, all of my bows using the ribbon that I find online. And I'm very uh, confident in recommending these people to you. The other thing um, I teach you is like how to shop for ribbon. When you go into your craft store, what, a look, what do you wanna look for? How do you look at the ribbon and combine your colors and patterns right there before you even put it in your buggy? Um, number two, if you can't do that um, shopping on, um, in the store, I'm teaching you how to do all of that online. Exactly how I start shopping online if I wanna make a wreath. Where do I start with my focal? Where do I start with the ribbon? You know, all of that is basically uh, taught already in the group. I've already put it in there. I did that yesterday. Um, it was very helpful to a lot of people just to see the thought process. Um, so we've, we're gonna give you the vendor list, uh, teach you how to buy and shop wisely and um, efficiently for your bow making process, but also teaching you the basic tips, like my basic tips, like there are so many things that I could tell you that you don't know until somebody tells you. It's like you don't know until you know, right? You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, until people point out certain things to you, you're like, oh, now it clicks. But really there is number one to know that there is just no one way to make a bow, you can make multiple bows. You can make bows with one ribbon, two ribbons, up to five or more, it's completely up to you. You can make, with this method that I wanna teach you, you can make a bow for anything that you need. If you need it for your mailbox, if you need it for a sign, if you need it for a baby shower, one of the things we were gonna go over is, you know, some baby shower stuff. Um, if you need it for Christmas, if you need it for fall, you know, if you need it for your um, deck or around the pool, if you're celebrating 4th of July, if you need it for a package, you know, for a gift, I'm just gonna teach you um, some standard ways of making bows so that you feel a lot more confident and you can do these things yourself instead of having to pay somebody online. The other thing too, which brings up a great point is if you do have an Etsy store or you do have some online store or maybe you are selling uh, bows to your neighbors, which I highly recommend. Um, a lot of times people will post in your neighborhood Facebook group, hey, can anybody help me tie a bow? And you're going to be like, I can, I can help you. So you can use your skill that you learn of bow making in order to help your neighbors if that's what you want to do and make their lives easier too or you can even sell them on your Etsy shop because there are a lot of people who don't want to even take the time to learn and then some people um, like you who master it and then you're able to uh, put these in your Etsy shop or your online store or your Facebook marketplace or whatever wherever you might want to um, sell. So we've got that. Um, I think that the number one thing I will tell everybody, including you know whether you join the group or not, is to practice your bow making. Practice, practice, practice. And it does um, take you know some getting used to, but you can practice with your hand ties or you can practice using a machine, whichever way you always wanna practice. And I was uh, speaking to somebody on Facebook the other day and they were saying that they used to make bows back in the day, <laughs> but then they picked it up to try to do it again and it just felt clunky, like they couldn't quite get it. And that's because it just definitely takes a time to get used to making and um, you have to keep practicing. Um, 
let's see, what else was I going to say? Let's go through, first of all, like the agenda. So the, if you're just joining, we're talking about our bow making masterclass that starts tomorrow. I'm hosting it. I'm trying to teach you the art of bow making, hand tie bows, and also using a machine. Um, the the first thing we're going to do, I've given you, I'm giving you handouts. Um, we're going to, I've already talked about shopping for ribbon online and retail. The other thing we're going to do is tomorrow night at 730 Eastern, I'm going to do a live stream. All of this takes place in a Facebook group, but if you're not on Facebook, maybe you're watching on YouTube, um, we give you links so that you can watch all of the training tutorial, but up front and just so you know that all of the conversation and stuff uh, the questions and answers are going to be in the Facebook group. But if you're watching on YouTube and you don't do Facebook, you still get access to all of the trainings and all of the Q&A, but you just won't be able to take part in the moment when it happens, if that makes sense. But tomorrow night we start at 730 and I want to talk to you about color. Um, color is the first thing you notice when you see anything. If it's a wreath, an arrangement, your bows, so I really want to talk to you about color and help you to understand color coordination just a little bit. Then I want to talk to you about patterns, mixing your patterns um, so that you feel more confident. A lot of times I get people telling me, I never would have put those patterns together, but they look stunning, but I'm going to teach you why that works that way. Why do they look stunning together? Once you understand the why, you're able to duplicate it for yourself over and over again. So that starts tomorrow at 7.30. Day two, Friday, we're gonna have two um, more live stream videos. We're gonna teach you how to make a one ribbon bow. So here is, um, this is an example of a one ribbon bow. I didn't do one with the, um, the one and a half inch. Here's an example of a one ribbon bow. Um, so we're just gonna do one ribbon bow so that you um, get started on a, an even plane if you're new to bow making and you just want to make one ribbon bow, that was good. that's going to be your ticket right there. That's going to help you right there. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, bows with two ribbons. So we're going to go through the process of two ribbons. You're going to get my um, formula for creating these bows um, that I am um, giving you. Also give you a template that you can lay down on your mat to help you um, guide you so that you always have it in front of you when you're making. So that's something else we're gonna be giving you. But we're gonna do uh, one ribbon and two ribbon bows on day two. Day three, we're gonna be doing three ribbon bows. So here's some, a couple of examples of how you can do some three ribbon bows. These bows are very trendy right now. They're not the bows that I grew up with. They are not the bows that I saw on my mom's wreaths when she put wreaths on her doors. So these are very tr trendy right now. So these trendy bows are so popular and I wanna make sure to teach you how to do all of these. Day three, which is Saturday, and if you can't join us live for any of these, all of this is available for replay. You can watch it at your leisure whenever you want to. Um, you know, if you, I know we, we have busy lives, you know, we probably have soccer for the kids or, you know, things that you're going to do with your mom on Saturday or whatever, that no problem. You can watch these over and over again as much as you want to for up to a year. We're going to make sure to package everything together for you so that we can just hand you, you know, a packet that has all of the images and all of the recipes and how to quickly and easily get your hand on something when you go to make bows in the future. It will have all of the links to go watch the videos over and over again as much as you need to. Um, then, so day Saturday, what we're going to do is our three, four, and five ribbon bows. So this is our three ribbon um, bows. I'm sorry, our I gotta count one, two, three, four ribbon bows, and we've got a five ribbon bow um, technique that we're gonna teach you. And here's another one with our four inch ribbon. So we can sh introduce four inch ribbon and how to incorporate that into your bow making. So that's gonna be on the um, Saturday. The last day, I wanna talk to you about common mistakes and how to fix them. So when I first started making bows, tell me if you were the same. You would go and make it and it just didn't look good and you would take it all apart and start over. 
you do it again and it just didn't look good and you take it apart and it just start over. Well, I found after making wreaths for 12 years and selling them, time is money. And so sometimes taking it apart and starting over is not very efficient with my time. And so I've found little techniques that I wanna teach you to help you so that you don't have to take your ribbon or your bows apart and start over. They're little, um, I don't, are they, they're techniques. I was gonna call it a hack, but to me, hack feels like a negative term. They're not hacks, it's definitely a technique. I wanna teach you this technique so that, um, there's multiple techniques to teach you so that you're not like wasting time and taking things apart. Um, so that's gonna be, on 1230 on Sunday. And then I also wanna show you on Sunday multiple ways to use bows. Um, well, we're gonna talk about mailbox bows. We're gonna talk about, you know, um, lantern bows. You know, you, we're gonna talk about how to take your bow skills that you've learned and now how to incorporate it into your own home decor and your home decorating for holidays, Easter, you know, uh, Valentine's Day, Christmas, all those things, okay? So how to take your, your skills that you learn in our bow making class and then how to incorporate it into your, um, your home decor. So then we also, on the last day, we're gonna do prizes and giveaways. We've got, I've been reaching out to some of my favorite bow or ribbon vendors and they agree to give away um, some stuff to our group and I'm excited we're going to be doing giveaways on that last day that last night and so that'll be so um, fun the other thing that I've done is partnered with um, some of my favorite vendors that they've come up with some like quick shopping for you guys for anybody who's in the group that you just click once and you you get your, your bow, <laughs> you get your ribbons to make all of the bows that you want. Um, so we've got, uh, these are just some of the bundles that they helped to put together for us. I mean, isn't that pretty? I just love, like, this is just such a really pretty like everyday look. Um, some, if you like the trendy, um, the trendy cutesy kind of stuff, you know, just some little bundles for quick shopping to help you guys out. Um, yeah, so that's, we've already uh, partnered with some of um, our um, vendors for that. Um, and then I was going to go through some frequently asked questions for you guys. Um, here, how do you sign up? You go to bowmasterclass.com, bowmasterclass.com. Let me put that over here. Okay, so there's question number one. How do you sign up? Bowmasterclass.com. Uh, bow um, so again, if you can't watch all the training, it's going to be an impactful four days. Um, no problems. You'll have everything nice and tidy in a little um, packet that you can save on your computer or download and print it or however you like to hold your you know, information. It will all be ready for you in, in, a, in a little packet with links on how to go watch the video replays. You can have access to the videos for up to a year, which takes you well into the holidays. So you'll be able to watch it, practice, rewatch and practice and pause and start and things like that. Um, the other thing is how long do we have access to the training? I just answered that. You have access to up to one year. So we'll keep it till March. You'll have access to it next year, okay? Um, do, what, do we need any supplies to get started is another question that I've had. And so I've already put it in the group. If anybody wants to go online and buy ribbon quickly to try to get it before they get started, or if you want to go shopping in your local craft store, how to do that already given the, that information in the group. Uh, you don't need anything to get started. Again, since you have access to this for up to a year, you don't even have to start yet if you don't want to. Um, a lot of you might even just have a ribbon around your house that you can pull out and practice with. And so you don't necessarily need anything to get started, but I do give you some ideas if you want to. So you don't necessarily need supplies. Um, how much is this? It's $14.97 um, for the four days, once. It's not a monthly. A lot of people are asking me that. Is this a monthly thing? No, it's just one price 
you get four days of information, you get takeaways with your packets, we're gonna do giveaways, you're gonna have access to me in the Facebook group to answer any questions. It will be me answering questions for you. Um, the last time we did this, people were showing us photos of things that were not working for them and so we were able to uh, troubleshoot and they fixed it with what we were giving them. So definitely love the, the pictures and the photos of your bows once you've made them and any way we can help you to make it better and problem solve and troubleshoot for you. That's also available in the group. Um, so we'll, when will we have this again? We don't know if we're going to do this again. Um, if we do, it won't be until later in the year. So it's not something I do all the time. And the reason being, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of making sure I'm there helping you for four days, answering questions. It's just very in-depth and detailed. And so um, that's not something we do all the time. So we just, we're just we just offering it this time. We don't have any time in the future that we're going to offer it. Um, let's see, any, let me see if there are any other questions. If you go to bowmasterclass.com and join us, will it be available on YouTube? Oh, that's a good question. <clears throat> right, so you don't do Facebook. I understand that. I completely understand that. What we do have available is links that you can watch it online and um, we can also provide a YouTube links if that's what you need. We weren't gonna do YouTube links that were gonna be housed on our website, um, but we could definitely work something that like that out. I've just got it like in my mind trying to calculate technology, like how do I get that on YouTube? But it will definitely be available on our website. Any other questions? Yeah, we'll go over the funky bow. Um, we're, they're asking, I don't see the funky bow. Um, yeah, we'll definitely go over the funky bow. The funky bow, if you don't know, is my signature bow that um, I learned how to make when all of my wreath makers that I was teaching wreath making um, would come up and have little strips of ribbon left. And they're like, what do I do with this? And I don't want to throw it away because they love ribbon as much as I do. And I'm like, I get you, I get you. So I teach them how, I taught them how to come up with a bow making idea where you can use strips of ribbon and you don't have to even have a full roll of ribbon. So that's what she's talking about, the funky bow. We definitely go over that. Um, I do not sell ribbon, Maggie. Um, I don't sell supplies. Um, I decided a while back that I wanted to focus my efforts on the teaching, but I'm more than happy to direct you into where you need to go in order to get the supplies that I use. Um, the exact supplies I use, I um, definitely tell all of that. <clears throat> Maggie wants to see the wreath behind me. <laughs> This was in our wreath making of the month club group. This is the tutorial they're actually getting tomorrow in our wreath making of the month club group. You can see we've got two bows on this one. Mary, don't worry if you can't join us the day that it's, we sign up because of your eye surgery, you have access to this for over a year. Lisa signed up, awesome. Cannot wait to see you in the group. Looking for, thanks Pam for the stars and Peggy, you guys are the best. Looking for any other questions. Okay, so it's bowmasterclass.com. Um, I'll watch this group, I mean the, the uh, videos to see if there's any questions that I can answer afterwards. This is, Sandra, thank you. This is definitely included for the wreath making of the month club group. So we talk about, you know, you guys hear me all the time talking about wreath making of the month club and it's opening March 28th. We've got a lot of uh, people already in the group. And if you're in that group, this is my bow masterclass is available for free. So you're going to um, make sure you check your emails. We've sent out at least four emails by now showing you how to access the free group for you. And then also um, we've posted it in our group, the Facebook group, and we've um, you know emailed it. But if you can't find all that, 
no problem. You just uh, contact us at info at southerncharmries.com and we'll direct you to the right place, Sandra. Okay, so I answered Jana's questions just now. <clears throat> and then I'm looking excited. Belinda's excited for the bow making. Y'all, I'm so excited. Ribbon is like my addiction. Uh, most people like women most women like shoes you know handbags chocolate um not to say i don't like some chocolate we all know that but i'm just saying ribbon for me is my addiction um and i love it i've been i've always loved it and when i was able to find a way to be able to make pretty things with it and also help my family income <laughs> with selling selling what I make with my pretty ribbon. Um, it just was like a win-win for me. Um, I just really hope that I inspire other people to learn a skill at home that they can use to help the world. You know, whether you want to do it for uh, money, for you know, to sell for your own family, or whether you just want to do things for your church, you know, out of the goodness of your heart, or your family members, or your neighbors, or whatever. Um, that's really my goal, is just to make sure that I teach you so you have something that you walk away, you feel very confident in, and you can also use the talents that you have and learn in order to make the world prettier and better. And that really is, has been the goal of my company the whole time, is just to inspire and uplift and motivate. And so hopefully you guys will, um, you know, feel a lot more confident after this class and be able to do the same thing. All right. I think those are all the questions. Thanks, Jackie. The class starts, Atina, the class starts tomorrow night, Thursday, March 25th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, don't have to show up right on time. You'll have access for a while, but tomorrow is where we're going to really kick it off. I've already done a few things with the group um, yesterday, and tomorrow night is when it officially kicks off. I'm excited, but I think that's, where, that's it. I went through all the questions. I, I think I handled everything, and you know, if, I, if, I, if you think of a question that I didn't answer, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be glad to come back on and answer for you. Okay, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and um, prayers to you all.